buffalo is five times the weight of a lioness. A well-placed thrust could cripple a lion for life. On the sidelines, the brothers are out of danger and out of the way. But when they try to help, they distract the females and the buffaloes get away. But just as quickly, the brothers see how misfortune turns into opportunity. The stampede exposes a loner, and the lionesses react. The mothers are fearless, driven to control and conquer. So Tao attempts his first jump on, risk-free. On the rump, he's away from immediate danger. Banda feels safer behind a tree. His practical will come later. When they get the buffalo down, Tao helps at the sharp end. His instinct to strangle is appropriate, but he lacks the strength. When reinforcements arrive, he realizes he's in over his head. Better let the experts do this. It takes the combined bite force of two adults to finally squeeze the life out of the buffalo. With a buffalo dead, horns and hooves are no longer a danger. It's what Band has been waiting for. And then, more good fortune. A reed buck in the wrong place at the wrong time. The pride females make it look easy. In an instant, there's an appetizer on the menu. More than enough for everyone. The brothers are accustomed to this endless supply of food. While Banda gorges himself, Tao takes the opportunity to practice his suffocation technique. The antelope's head is a size he can manage. He clamps its nose and mouth shut to block off access to air. It's how he'll kill buffaloes one day. But for now, he leave that to his elders. Food is the mother's responsibility. Their fathers handle security. The Kakanaka males spend time away from the family patrolling their borders. This area of the Okavango Delta is full of pride lands, seven in total. Each one as large as Paris. And other lions have their eyes on the Kakanaka territory. The pride males continually scent mark the perimeter of their territory as a warning to keep out or face an attack. But warnings don't always work. Today, the smell of the family's carcass tempts nomads into the heart of their territory. Though Tao and Banda hardly notice. The mothers are defensive, but they'll wait for the males to make the first move. The nomadic females may get a chance to eat, 
but the juvenile male won't be tolerated. And then the young brothers see firsthand how their fathers, the pride males, deal with rival intruders. Trespasser is lucky to escape with his life. Roaring is their final act of dominance. A bulletin to neighboring prides. It communicates location, prowess, and ownership. With their fathers on guard duty, Tau and Bander enjoy a meal in peace. On hunting trips with the lionesses, the brothers experience all the quirks of Delta living. Wet and chilly paws come with a territory. Although today, Tao learns how to stay dry. It looks easy when his mum does it. Bingo. Cautious Banda gets cold feet. No matter the obstacle, the lionesses stay focused on their primary target, buffaloes, sometimes going to extreme lengths to keep track of the herd. These grazers account for 70% of the pride's food. So it makes sense to keep them in their sights. As the buffalo crisscross Kakanaka, the lions follow. And Tau and Banda learn about their world. The forest reveals an alternative prey source, 